What's going on guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt and today let's talk about Legereus Sneed because this whole thing has just been crazy. But before I do, if you're new, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon. That way you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, follow me on Twitter, horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So, like I said, on Twitter, this whole Sneed situation has been pretty insane. It's not the craziest offseason that we've had, but still, this whole thing has been nuts. So, let's start from the beginning, and then we'll get to the update that we got today. Then I'll share my thoughts on the whole situation. So, it really started when Kansas City used the franchise tag on Sneed, but allowed him to find teams that would be interested in signing him that way, those teams would then have to negotiate with Kansas City to get a trade done, which honestly is really smart. If you have a really good player that a lot of teams are interested in and you have the franchise tag still available, use it. That way you can get a trade and you can at least get something for that player. So that's really where it started. Some Colts fans were like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we got Sneed? Then some articles came out, started linking the Colts and Sneed together, as well as other teams were linked to Sneed. And, you know, of course, more fans got pretty excited about that. And then he started commenting and liking Colts players' posts. Like Kenny Morris, he commented on his resigning post, and I got a lot of people really, really excited. Uh, Zaire Franklin, I believe, put out the, hey, how do I get a hold of Sneed and Diggs? You know, I want to try to get something to, you know, to happen. And then Sneed liked that, and a lot of fans got really excited. And then on Wednesday or Thursday, there was this Twitter account named Captain Colt who said, hey, look, you can bookmark this. I do not care. My guy says a trade is done. It's happening. And that got some fans really excited. And then, of course, on Saturday, that's where everything went crazy. Destin Adams, he tweeted out, hey, there's some things that still have to be ironed out. However, it does look like a trade's going to happen. The Colts, they're going to give up a 2024 third round pick plus a 2025 day three pick. Wasn't specific on what round it would be, but it would be a 2025 day three pick. Just got to work a few more things out, then it's going to happen. And then a lot of people started getting really excited about the potential of a Sneed to Indianapolis trade. And then Stephen Holder came out. And he put out a tweet that said, hey, there is no trade. Um, a trade is not agreed upon. Nothing has happened on that front. And a lot of fans started to get upset and started saying some pretty mean things to Holder, right? So here's what I'll say. We'll talk about the Twitter stuff. And then, of course, we'll get into um, what Adam Schefter said after that. So first things first, when it comes to the Captain Colt thing, he seems like a nice guy. Okay, he does, and I'm not trying to be mean to him. Why are people believing him? He himself has said that he's not a reporter. So why are people taking his word for gospel? Like, guys, take his word with a grain of salt, okay? Look, I don't know the guy. I don't know who his source is, but I don't believe him because he's not a reporter. He's pretty new on Twitter, and... He doesn't really have a following, right? He has, what, like 1.6 thousand followers? I mean, that's more than me. It's a lot more than me. But still, like, why are we believing him? Take it with a grain of salt. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But maybe, I don't know. He could have been doing this all for clicks. Maybe he does have a guy. I don't know. I simply just don't believe him. But hey, if a trade happens, I'll give him his flowers. I'll give him credit. Because... He was the first one, or one of the first, that said this was happening. So, again, not trying to be mean, but why are we believing him? He's not a reporter. Guys, it would be like if I made another account, and I said, hey, Justin Jefferson is being traded to Indianapolis, okay? A couple more things need to work out, like contract-wise. However, a trade is going to happen, and then it would be like people saying, oh, yeah, I believe that. That's totally going to happen. Like, don't believe random people on Twitter. Take their word with a grain of salt. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. 
I just I don't understand why people were like just really excited about that, right? I, I I just don't get it. I don't know. Maybe he'll message me and maybe I'll find out his actual source and I'll talk to that person. And then at that point I can decide whether I believe him or not. Obviously that's not gonna happen, but again, like let's just not believe somebody because of what they say on Twitter. Okay. If they're not a reporter, don't believe them. Okay. Just take their word with a grain of salt. Now, when it comes to Destin Adams, I can understand people believe in Destin because he's been right about some things. And Destin is not somebody who's just throwing things out there for clicks. Okay. He's trying to do this for a living. Okay. He doesn't have the luxury of working at ESPN and being wrong and not facing consequences because of it, right? Like Destin is going to be careful before he puts stuff out. So I have no reason to believe that Destin would just lie for clicks. There, there's no reason. However, again, unless you're an Ian Rappaport, Tom Pelissero, Adam Schefter, I'm not going to believe you 100%. I put a little more confidence behind Destin Adams than other people, but again, I'm not going to take his word as like 100% guarantee. That's why I did not make a video saying that the Colts traded for LeJarrius Sneed. I'm waiting until one of the big dogs put something out. When that happens, then I'll make a video. But until then, I'm, I'm not going to make a video saying a trade has happened. No offense to Destin. I like his work. I just, again, he, he's not Schefter or Rappaport or whoever, so I can't just say, yeah, this is a guarantee to happen. All right, so now let's get into the most recent update, and that, of course, comes from Adam Schefter. So Adam Schefter was on the Pat McAfee show, and Pat asked, hey, have you heard anything about Snead potentially going to the Colts? And Adam Schefter said that the Colts and the Chiefs have had no conversations when it comes to Snead. So let's say Adam Schefter's right. If there have been no conversations between the Colts and the Chiefs for Snead, and you haven't brought in a corner, and you haven't brought in any safeties, or re-signed Julian Blackman, I'm sorry, but that's incompetent. That's really, really stupid if you're not going to do that. And look, I like the corners we have. Like, I like Flowers a lot. I like Juju Brents a lot. I like Kenny Moore a lot, okay? I thought it was very important to bring back Kenny Moore. Same with Grover Stewart and Michael Pittman, because without them, the position groups they play in, they drop in quality. So bringing those guys back is very important. However, we need another corner. Like, I know a lot of people want to draft a corner, in the first round, and look, there's some really good corners, but I would prefer to sign a corner that's a veteran that can come off the bench whenever, you know, a guy may need to come out for whatever reason. And then I would just draft a guy like Cam Hart in like round three or four, in all honesty. That's what I personally would do. Uh, I, I would rather just draft an edge with a 15th pick. But yeah, if, if the Colts really haven't brought anybody in, as we're seeing all these good corners disappear and go to other teams, it, to me, I, I just think that'd be really dumb on Chris Ballard's part. But let's say that Adam Schefter's wrong. And let's say that there still are negotiations happening between Kansas City and Indianapolis. This needs to end within the next 48 hours. Okay, you need to get a deal done. You need to work things out, whether it's with Kansas City or with Snead and his team. You got to work something out because every single day there are more good corners and good safeties being signed by other teams. We cannot afford to let this drag out, put all our eggs in the Sneed basket. Yeah, it could work out. It, it could end up being a great thing, right? Like we could actually end up getting a really good corner with Sneed. But we can't just put all the eggs in one basket, okay? Eventually, we got to say, hey, we're not going to get a deal done. This is clear. We're going to move on. Good luck to you guys. And then go sign a good corner. Go sign some safeties and focus on the draft. That's what I personally think should happen. So that being said, what do I think is going to happen with Snead? In my opinion, I have been in the hole. I'm going to believe it when I see it mindset. That was my mindset. I'm going to believe it when I see it. Because, yeah, Snead is very, very good. But you're negotiating with two different parties. You're negotiating with Kansas City. You're negotiating with Snead. Okay. It's the NFL. Things can fall apart at the last second. Remember Josh McDaniels? 
He was going to be the next head coach of the Colts. Was on the plane flying to Indianapolis. Plane turned around before they learned, uh, landed in Indy because he decided he was going to stay in New England. So things could fall apart really quick. And that only goes up when you're now negotiating with two different parties. So I was always in the I'll believe it when I see it mindset. I was not going to let this control my life because at the end of the day, it could happen and that would be wonderful. But it also could just not happen. And, you know, we just have to move on by that point. I think nothing is going to happen. I do not believe we're going to see Snead traded to Indianapolis. I think what we're going to see pretty soon is a veteran signed, and I think we're going to see the safety position addressed and signed. I do not see Legereus Snead being an Indianapolis Colt. I hope I'm wrong because that means the money ends up working out and we get a really good corner. However, I just don't see Legereus Snead ending up in Indianapolis. I think it's done. I think it's time to move on. And, and hey, let's focus on the draft now. That, that's what I say. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, follow me on Twitter, horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt. Bleed blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.